tell us mm. about your theme and why you chose it? Well, the theme is discipleship in the shadow of the cross, and it is a theme that in Holy Week really strikes home to me, particularly, and how we can follow the disciples with Jesus and learn from them in the events that lead up to Good Friday. I was struck particularly by what you said about um, it's better to be a fearful disciple than no disciple at all. What do you mean by that? I was really impressed in going through the week and following the disciples from the Last Supper all the way through to Good Friday and the events of the cross itself. How the disciples, uh, on the whole, stuck with Jesus. How on the first day when they were with him over the Last Supper, in the end, they went with him to the Garden of Gethsemane. Um, they fled from the Garden of Gethsemane, but actually they were there still with him. They hadn't just stayed in the upper room. For me, it's, it's a sense that although you could say that Peter and some of the other disciples had let Christ down, well, for me that wasn't the case. They were there with him amidst their fear, um, and they journeyed to the cross with that. Judas is often seen as uh, a failed disciple. Mm. You offer quite a provocative take on him. What, what did you have to say about Judas? Yeah, I, I think in that, that Judas is someone that I have a lot of sympathy with because Judas uh, was with Jesus for three years and during that time he learned from the Lord um, but probably in the end, we don't know quite why, he, his agenda was, was different um, and it came to this point of crisis which of course was a tragedy. Um, I wonder sometimes whether we try to put our agenda on Jesus and our discipleship um, and in following him. And I wonder whether we try to mould Jesus and his call on our lives in a, in, a, in a way that's not quite as tragic, obviously, as Judas, but nevertheless um, is challenging for us. So for me, Judas challenges me about, is it my agenda that I'm following in my discipleship or is it the Lord's? Thank you.